Tommy, another week, uh, not a lot of football activity. What's the shape of the squad like going into the weekend? Good, it's healthy. Um, we're all on the grass, which is good. Uh, so everybody's mobile again. The fact that uh, we haven't been able to play in a couple of weeks has been a frustration more than anything else. Everybody you know, likes to put their tuppence within and say why we haven't done the right things or the, we have done the right things or clubs do the wrong things. Ultimately, when there's a cold snap like we've had, I feel for the fans because they want to watch football. I feel for the lads because they train hard and they want to play football. Uh, and I feel for the clubs that get the stick because nine times out of 10 or 99 times out of 100, I'd say the clubs are doing the right things, you know. Ultimately, it's about the safety of the players and the quality of the games. If the ge if the pitch isn't you know sustainable for 90 minutes, it's right to call them off. It's not what everybody wants, but it is what happens. So, because of that, we obviously now we're scheduled that was supposed to be busy in January is now going to be really busy in February and March by the looks of things. So, we know what's ahead of us. The lads have been prepped for that. So, um, these last two weeks really has been lots of touch time on the training ground which has been enjoyable from my point of view I don't run around but um, I'm sure the players will tell you we've got a lot of information into them and, and hopefully the one or two of the lads who haven't played a lot of games will be in good condition in terms of being available to be picked with the, with the hectic schedule coming up Does the gap for the players make them more hungry when they go out? Is there a balance that you have to sort of rein them in a little bit? Yeah, you definitely have to rein them in because you know we prep as we have done for the three games that have been postponed, we prep keeping a lot in the tank for the game. And if the game isn't called off till the last minute, like the Brackley one was, um, you know, there's a lot of energy there waiting to be let out. So we've got to be careful how we do that. It's not, you don't just take the lid off and let it all go. You know, you've got to, we've got to let it out bit by bit. We don't want them getting injured by overloading immediately or, you know, very quickly we've got to get back on the horse, as it were, to, to prep for the next game. So, you know, we prepped for Tuesday night up until Monday. So until that game was called off, um, we kept it in their legs. We gave them a little bit more of a session on Tuesday knowing we weren't playing then. So today was a normal day for us on Thursday and tomorrow will be well late prep going into the game on Saturday at Leamington, which we're very, very hopeful of being on and I'm sure they are too. Thinking of Leamington, what's your plans and what's the, the thought processes for that game? Yeah, well, they give us a tough game at uh, our place and whilst we, it was the only team we dropped points to actually at home, if I remember rightly, and it was a game where, you know, statistically you might think we should have won the game, but they were very much... Uh, a thorn in the side the whole game. The, the lad at the time who scored their goal could easily have scored another goal and we could have lost that game. So, you know, Paul, Paul's been around the block at this level a very, very long time. He knows what he's doing. He's got a certain way of playing. And if I phoned him up and asked him how he's playing, he'd tell me because he says, I don't hide anything, Tom. So, you know, we're looking forward to, to locking on with him and I'm sure we'll, we'll have a chat afterwards uh, about everything and anything like we normally do. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward just to getting the game on, really. So Aaron, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in front of the cameras for the first time. Um, we've not really caught up before, but tell us about yourself and your background and what brought you to Kings Lynn. Um, well, of course, I already know Hugo, so we worked together at Lewis. So that was a big part, big factor of me coming here. But then also that I did my own research and um, I looked at the way that they played, the style of play, it, it suits me. And uh, obviously they're doing really well in the league, so I just thought, yeah, it's a great opportunity for me. Obviously I haven't been playing as much as I would have liked to in the first half of the season, so it's, it's a great chance for me to come get minutes and hopefully sc score some goals. You made a cracking start, obviously, against, uh, in the last game. Yeah. What the memories of that? Yeah, for, for any striker, it's always great when you got um, score on your debut. Um, it just um, sets you up for the, for the following games. You know, but I need to try and keep that form. You know, scoring one is all great, but I need to score again. I need to keep on doing it, keep on doing it. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get a few more. Has it been difficult? You know, you come into the team like that, you made the start, and then obviously we've had, what, three cancelled games. Has that made life complicated for you settling in, or has that given you a chance to get to know the players better? Uh, yeah, obviously when games are cancelled after, you've scored good, good result. Um, scored so you want to keep the ball rolling you want to play as many games as possible I think maybe uh, the three games has we've lost a bit of momentum or well, me personally but it's up to us to all to get it back and um, get the ball rolling again and just hopefully get the three points on Saturday and what sort of player can the fans expect to see from you what sort of play and what do you bring to the hope to bring to the team yeah so I'd say my main attributes are my speed 
so I like to score goals, so I'll hopefully try and get as many as possible. Um, on the ball, I say I'm quite direct. Like I like to try and take players on. Um, but yeah, I just hope to come and excite the fans, really. And what's been your biggest game so far? What's the highlight of your career looking back? Uh, highlight of my career is definitely when I scored for Wimbledon last season against Cheltenham to make it 2-2. Uh, that was a really important game for us and yes, yeah, so I scored the equaliser. And so yeah, that's definitely the highlight of my career so far.